What's going on, silencers? Cass here, and we're back in RimWorld as we come to the close, hopefully, in the next episode or two, maybe three. I really hope so. Um, as we come to the close of our story, Vlad, Am, Deacon, Pumpkin, Hakron, Yang, and Cork are looking for a way off this planet, and we've decided that we're going to build our own damn spaceship, because nobody's going to help us. So if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all those fun things. And thank you very much to my patrons who have given me the plans for the spaceship and told me where I can stick it. I mean, told me where I can build it. But without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, so a couple of things have changed since last episode. Um... I basically kept calling traders in until I got a bunch of crafting stations. I also got some hauling stations. I haven't really screwed around with too much more than that. I just wanted uh, things to get done. Uh, I got a bunch of cleaning stations, basically, because this area is gross. Like, really gross. So I figured we'll get it all cleaned up. Get it all looking good. I mean, they're getting all of the, uh, what is that, ash off the ground, among other things. And we can hopefully build our ship uh, somewhere over here, probably over here. Over here is going to make more sense. Go into orders, make sure absolutely every piece of wood is out of here. And then likewise, that every single plant is out of here. And then go in here to cancel that. Make sure we get rid of that. Remove these floors. And yeah, then we're all good. And I just have to worry about all of the animals that I unwittingly trapped in here. Uh, that I'm going to either have to hunt or tame. So that's fun. How are animal handing, handling? There's two, four, three, two, one, two, zero. And who is our animal handler? Over to colonists. Handler is uh, Am. I mean, Yang has a passion for it, but she hardly has the skill. But I suppose if I... Go back. If I do that, then we go into the butcher table. We tell him to make table. Does that have to be hay? No, it just has to be vegetable. So we'll do that until we have a thousand. And then we'll go hygiene, plumbing. If we get this taken care of like that, bring this out to say here, get a good old steel water trough or two. And yeah, let those get built up really quick. And then we should probably Hunt and or tame everything that's in side. Yeah, that'll be our plan, I think. And there they are filled with treated water. Wonderful. Uh, then we can go to furniture. Okay, maybe not. Furniture? No, I was just there. Miscellaneous? No, storage. Food basket. That can go here. And here. What are you doing? Hauling agave fruit? Oh. That's right. I have all this. Not paying attention. 
this, if we have this, be kibble. And then this one also kibble. And we should be good to go. Okay, wildlife. Let's tame uh, all the buffaloes. Can we tame the ground runners? You know what? Tame everything. Okay. You need to clear out. I will say. There we go. All right, Am. You're going to do your thing. Hopefully not die. That would be probably a good plan. But, you know, not dying. Uh, in general, that's a good plan. At least I think so. But I'm biased. What the hell do I know? There they go doing their thing. I think it'd be kind of cool. I should stop musing about the next one because I haven't even seen if you guys like this one yet. So, there is that. What is that? Apples. Ooh. Now I'm hungry. Which is probably a good thing I have a stack of wings next to me. My wife and I decided to make wings. And, uh, yeah, needless to say, I have, I've made a lot of wings the last two days. Deep fried, mostly. Get them nice and crispy and then toss them. Some of them are in, uh, spicy Kentucky seasoning. Ooh, good stuff. Kind of a tangy, sweet barbecue, kind of, but almost no barbecue. It's more of a, like a vinegary tang. Oh, they're great. Then I have a uh, maple bacon seasoning that I use in burgers. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. And it actually turned out pretty good. And then my favorite garlic Parmesan. Cause that's like the best wing. Just a simple, greasy clog your arteries, send you off to heaven with a smile and a full belly garlic Parmesan. If you guys like wings, here's my question for you, because I haven't asked one of these in for fucking ever. If you guys like wings, what kind of seasoning do you like on them? And the major question, bone in or bone out wings? I prefer boneless. However, I can kind of see the appeal of the bone in ones. Let me know in the comments below your preferences there. We're talking about that meat, no other meat, specifically chicken. You don't like chicken? Just tell me. I don't eat chicken. I don't like wings, or I like chicken fingers, or nuggets, or whatever. I don't care. But we're specifically talking... Oh my god, Am is pregnant. The baby is growing... A baby growing inside a woman... For, uh, a baby growing inside a woman, preparing to be born. In humans, pregnancy lasts for 18 days and is divided into three trimesters. As the pregnancy grows, it will reduce the mother's mobility. For some mothers, pregnancy may induce mod nausea or mood swings that can be hard to deal with. Hunger rate offset 10%. Father, lad. Oh my god, we're going to have a little bundle of joy. Oh shit. Lad's going to be a dad. Not quite sure what the hell I'm supposed to do with that. We need a nursery. Um, will it be a sanguinophage? I uh, have no idea. We'll put a marble crib right there at the end of the bed, I guess. What the hell else does a baby need? Uh, decoration for baby.
Uh, um, yep, I'm actually like panicking a little bit on behalf of Vlad. I was not prepared for a baby. I don't know he if he was prepared for a baby. It's been what 4,800 years or something for him. But going down here to bills, um, we're gonna make some baby food. We're gonna do it until we have a hundred, and don't really need coffee or tea right now. And yeah, I yeah, okay, M, you are very much needed. Um, yeah, let's get you. I, I, I'm, I'm actually like flustered and speechless. I wasn't expecting, uh, this particular development. So that's awesome. Oh, by the way, if you go into social, you can actually, um, when somebody is with someone to so like husband, wife, lovers, whatever, you can go to this heart and you can actually tell them to, uh, try for a baby, which increases their fertility rate, and they have a lot of sex. Uh, you can avoid pregnancy, which cuts down on it, or you can uh, do normal. And you can also fix your colonists the same way that you do in the real world. You know, nippity doo da. But, uh, holy crap. Cute frenzy, Am. So, Am, your mood swings include you want to shoot at things? I don't know if um, that's necessarily a good thing. Now, Yang, you are there. Am is not going to try to convert you. She is going to convert you when she wakes up. And then once you're converted to us, uh, you can... I don't know, you can do whatever you want. But then Am needs to try and tame everything on the freaking map that isn't immediately hostile. Hell, even if it is hostile. Just hope that hope that we can protect her. Am has converted Yang. Alright, Yang. You have been converted and you are going to start the process okay let's go into operations and oh no 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 move this here move oh thank god a bulk goods trader Now we just go here and oh yeah. Oh my God. That's why they wouldn't leave. Cause I had that prohibiting them from, oh, now I feel bad. Sort of, not really. This, uh, that goes there. That not what I want. I just want to move this. So Vlad, move that, and then move that. Wait a second. Yeah, we're good. Okay. 
Okay. So that's the nutrition drip. The nutrition drip should take care of her needs. Oh, a happy ending. Have a 90% average mood in the colony. Yeah, still don't think that's going to happen. So, yeah, nutrition. She will, won't will lose any... Uh, she won't lose any food while she's in body. Rest until healed, goddammit. And then... I don't give a shit about the Phoenix House cat. Got to have a dead owl cat, it seems. And your animals is 4.01. How you doing, rat? Gonna bleed out. Life sucks. Sam, will you just talk to a kidna, please? Okay, kidna. I need to sell some stuff. You have devil sheep? I need to buy some stuff. We're gonna buy some devil sheep. Don't need thin thread. Sure as hell don't need that much cloth. Don't really need to sell a lot of this. Okay, I have two cataphract armor pieces. Let's sell. Yeah. Sell those. Except. Perfect. What you doing now? Payment a turkey. Uh, where the fuck is the turkey? Why aren't you using kibble for game? I don't really care. Five, six, seven, eight, All of them. Medical. Yes. Where are you headed, Remy? Laying down. Okay. Am is taming the turkey. Perfect. Uh, Vlad, will you? You go ahead and do that. Let me grab a pen marker. So we have to tell these creatures that they are okay to be in the pen. Glad you mark that or make that pen mark. Perfect. Now Uh, who's our other handler? Yang. I know you're currently in bed, but... Fuck you. Once you've tamed the turkey, rope the you. Pardon the butt. Careless.
Yeah, so there is a Feralist. There's another baby Feralist. Cool. And here I was thinking we didn't have any of those. Grab those. Okay, I don't really know what I'm thinking. I'll just do everything that can be hauled. Make it happen. Now these devil sheep are nice because they basically take the place of doing it like this. Their wool is prioritized rope sheep and what the hell. No. It's not a pen door. If you walk out that door again, I'm just going to shoot you. Your animal handling is 4.1. Okay. Hopefully you can get your skill up to the point where you can get all those uh, muffalo. But you never know. Excuse me. Who's doing research? Anybody doing research? But just the robots? Here's the love of God. This is very long. Okay. Yeah, it's just Vlad and one of the Omnibots. Okay. So they are doing their thing. Wow, this is really impressive. Extremely spacious, perfectly clean, very beautiful, and very luxurious. And this is a dining room. And it's still considered a dining room, even though these are recreational pieces. And yeah, sweet. Cool. Uh, Midas have 5,000 gold. Seems like they've been busy, busy, busy. Oh, and I think we're maxed out on steel. So I'm going to put two more there. We're also maxed out on wood. Another one of those there. This is going to be a copy settings, paste setting, paste setting kind of thing. And we'll have plenty of space to put all this. Really have 5,000 gold? Or 5,000 gold? Huh. I didn't realize. That's okay. Where you at, M? Uh, we'll follow Am for a minute. Guess that's all right. Watch her do her thing. So these things are called ground runners. They're like giant moles. And if you train them, they'll actually dig for you. So. It's kind of a nifty little thing. If you can get like 50 of them, which is a lot, yes. Um, and train them all up. It, they have to be. <gasps> Pardon me. They have to be trained up to level five in hauling. Which, it occurs to me, this is the first time you guys have seen an animal. So you grab an animal, just like normal, you click on it. If you go into training, it's got all these abilities. Guard, attack, rescue, haul. It has to be trained to level 7 and haul before it will do anything like that. So. Yes. 
offer it kibble. And here at 4.03. This may take a while. Now, what are you going to tame? Because you can't tame, so you can't interact with the same... The same target? I guess that's the right way to put it interact with the same subject or target yeah um two days and or like twice in a row because you got to give the animal time to calm down or whatnot it's just a it's a cooldown mechanic but there's it makes sense you can't just jump on a horse and break it first try i mean some people might be able to depending on the horse but you sometimes got to let it throw you a couple of times before it gets tired out and basically this is that process now why the hell are you falling steel work um i don't need any of you to do that oh yang firefight patient Get rid of those. Yeah, there we go. That will work great. I think I'm definitely going to make my mod list a little more concise for the next series. Okay, you can stop following M now. Thank you. Where is that barrel? Is it still in here? It is still in here. Nope. This one. Requires level 10 in animals. I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, but it does occur to me that, um,. This will actually up her animal handling ability too. So if we go here, we can train the ground rope. Now we should also probably add a zone. We'll expand area one. Like that. Like that. And that. And then we'll tell Ground Runner you've got to stay in area one. And it should be smart enough to run back. Okay. Just wondering why. Why these guys keep wandering in and out of certain doors because this isn't a pen door so it should should allow or it should you know prohibit them from coming out i don't know i don't Never occurred to me if that was roof. Not that it really matters all that much, but that. There is two storage for Sam. Right here. You, Bowser. Oh. 
Uh, grab here. Copy. I'm almost not sure what to do. This is supposed to be Yang's. Now, Yang, are you okay having a uh, normal bedroom? Yes, you should be okay. Wonderful. are you gathering marble okay and am yeah we'll just follow you for a little bit see what your day is all about surprise the damn rat has died but whatever all right. So, yeah, that's just... All right. If she doesn't end up walk wandering out that door, then that might be what it is, that you actually have to say that this is the pen inside and outside. Now, where is the, there's the ramp right there. Have you set the hall? Um, so here's a little tip for you. If you're playing the game and you uh, wonder why nobody is doing any work. Uh, it's this. If you have them turned off from hauling, like completely, it's not a priority and stuff. Um, the, it'll actually keep them from doing most jobs that require them to pick up something and take it with them, like constructing or anything like that. So keep in mind. They do have to be able to move some stuff in order to do certain jobs. To make sure that they are always set at minimum to lowest priority possible. To do hauling because they'll be able to do a lot of these other jobs as long as that's enabled. Disabling that will disable a whole ton of stuff. You want cork? Gather wood. Am how you doing health wise? Still in that first trimester. Right back to research. Damn. Hmm. Makes me wonder if I couldn't find Thigh trainer, an imperial trader. Let's see if we can't find an animal side trainer. Uh, imperial trainer. or imperial trader. Nope. Yes, not. That's okay. We'll just let it go. Oh, <laughs> we should probably undraft. Thank you. Thank you for your service, Ham. And that is an excellent one. Perfect. Cool. Maybe in between this episode and next, I will look to see if I can find some skill trainers. But, uh, but I'm not sure. I haven't really thought much about it.
Omnibot 5, but we can now pretty much exclusively craft uh, any of the robots if we need to. But we're going to get plate armor done. And then... Oh, yeah, we're going to be through this in no time. We don't have a lot of big projects left, except for, honestly, the very last one. The replicator for the terraforming stuff. Oh, and look, another one. Wonderful. We're going to activate all of that. Go to the robot. Make sure all of the cleaners have the same and then robot and cleaner you stay at home thank you very much And let's see, Am, you are 64% to death rest. Uh, Vlad, you are 40% to death rest. And you should just be, you're watching television. Good for you, man. Good for you. We should actually probably put you down for death rest before you need to do like full death rest. So yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to put you down for death rest. When you wake up, we're going to throw uh, Am in for her death rest. And you will work fast for eight days. Akron, my man, you are a beast. By the way, the um, inspirations, I, I don't think I mentioned it before, but the inspirations come when your colonists are happy. So the happier they are, the more likely they are to have inspirations. And for the, excuse me, for the most part, the inspirations that are they're going to get are going to be um, in line with their jobs or skills that they have relevant stats in. So very rarely will you get something like a pacifist having a shoot frenzy or a um, will not clean person having a movement speed bust, like a, a bust, bust boost. Um, the, the game does try to maintain balance. Every once in a while, it's fucky, but otherwise, it, it's okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Catharsis? What exactly did you do? Somewhat impressive hospital, honey. This is an amazing hospital. Oh, it still says somewhat impressive. Well, that's because it's ugly. We'll install some stuff and make it all kinds of pretty. Let's see. Do we have any? Well, you don't have any. We do have a 420 beautiful one. Put that right there. Not going to make much of a difference, but I don't know. It might. Right now, it's ugly, luxurious, spacious, and sterile. And if that gets delivered, which it looks like it's gonna, now it's extremely impressive. That's funny. So if I click into you, extremely impressive hospital. It doesn't actually make her any happier. That's funny. Now with the defense column, those are under security, right? Cluster column, flame column, pulse column. Well, that's new. Ooh, and then auto or auto auto mortars, which I'm guessing allow us to set up automatic mortar systems that will, you know, mortar out enemies as they come close. But that's going to be a discussion for another time. 
because that's where we're going to call it today. If you enjoyed the content, you know exactly what to do. Thank you very much to my patrons who uh, keep sending me merchants every once in a while so that I can clear out my stores and make a little silver. Silver is good. But I won't keep you any longer. Thank you very much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.